Hey guys. Oh, that elevator music is just too good. Too good. 24 hour goat sim stream? Never! <laughs> How you guys doing this morning? Let me make sure we have some sound on room rolled. There we go. Lovely. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. So today I'm jumping into a room mold um, Alpha 9. We'll try to catch some of that. Yeah, uh, it'll be, I think, on the Friday next week. So not this Friday, but next week. That should be the 6th of March. Obviously until the next day. So we'll probably start around um, noon GMT. So that will be 1pm Central European time. Till 1pm the next day. So that'll be interesting. It's I guess it's easier if you, like do it together because you have each other to talk to if sort of chat quietens down a bit uh, and also you have like one person to make tea or or snacks or something so that should be good okay let's jump on over to our game screen I'll need to load up the game ah. the game should go there but it's not going there always something, isn't it? Mm. Why is it not going? Oh, there we go. Ha! That was easy. A snack buddy, indeed. Can Ellie get drunk again in 20... No. Getting drunk on a 24-hour stream is a really bad idea. Really bad. So you feel less guilty about peeing out of mini pizzas? Yes! Mini pizzas need to happen, definitely, and some ice cream maybe, I don't know. I can try and bring some- I'll bring stroke baffles, so we can have some stroke baffles maybe. Um, I just noticed that whenever I hoover over this, it kind of doesn't really look that nice. Let me fix that as well. That's fixed. I think we're ready to, to get going. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people in here, but people will come. Rather not get drunk on a 24 hour stream, no. It's a very bad idea because, you know, if you start drinking like within the first few hours, you're gonna have to deal with being drunk for like a long time or like getting like really sleepy or cranky or extremely happy, that could be fun. But, you know, you'll have to like go to bed after that and you, uh, I don't know, it's just not a very good idea. For the entire stream, 24 hours of being drunk, that is very bad for you. I am gonna... Shall I create a whole new world? A whole new world? Yes, let's do it. Tits B. I think I'm happy with that. Generate. Nekar al Samaka is what the world is called. Um, save and finish, and we're gonna start a new colony. I'm gonna do... I think I'm... I'm gonna go Cassandra Classic on casual this time. I heard that um, Alpha 9 was a little bit more difficult actually, so we'll see. So I'm not gonna go rough. We can always change it to rough if we feel like we're up for the challenge. <laughs> Sponsored by Jack Daniels. 24 hour liver endurance challenge. No. Ali's more entertaining when drunk. Aww, that's not true. That's not true. Um select and let's see where we are going to go ideally I wouldn't want to make it too difficult on myself so something like that one is actually perfect mountains it gets quite warm I would like a um, year-round growing period because it's easy makes it easy and uh, that's even warmer. Yeah. So basically what you have is cold, warmer, and then also like the colder it gets, the shorter your growing period um, is. But also when it gets too warm, your growing period will also get short. Oh no, it will get still be year round. Good. But obviously you wouldn't really want to be in a place where it's like the average temperature in July is 37 degrees. That's just a bit too much. Um, so this one will be good. Average November. Year round. Uh, I'm not too, like, unhappy with that one, actually. What's this? The Blue Hill People Tribe Faction Beasts. 
Let's not go there. March, October, February, November. February, November isn't bad though. That's like pretty good. If you can manage to get enough food to get through those remaining few months in the year, you should be alright. Um, but I think... Uh, which one was that again? This one. This one. Sandstone slate. This one's marble slate sandstone. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Not a lot of rain, but we'll manage. More entertaining? I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> ah, good one. You feel bad for Toadie? Why? Oh, did I miss something? Um, so average temperature is quite warm. It can get really hot in July. Um, it's a temperate forest mountain, so we can like burrow in and make our home within a mountain. And then marble, slate, and sandstone. You can set up the advanced thing. Uh, starting month is auto. Um, I don't. Really, I think it's March automatically. Um, should be big enough. I think we're ready. Let's select some. Um, characters. People are essentially copying Dwarf Fortress, but since they have nicer graphics, they'll end up being far more famous slash successful. But isn't that what's like happening to a lot of games? They're just like improvements in graphics and stuff. But I can tell you that the um, the gameplay of this is good. It's good. Uh, so settlers will be best. They all have a sort of a role. Uh, to get a settler would be best. Uh, Luddite artist, huntsman, scientist. Mm. Soda the scientist. Those traits are, I consider them to be negative. And those particular ones. Artist, marine, janitor, sarge, cook, researcher. Pilot? No, thank you. <laughs> New Unreal Engine? For sure. How you doing? This game is essentially what Dwarf- Yeah, I heard- I heard that, yeah. It's still on alpha though, so I'm not quite sure. There's like, new stuff being added constantly, and also the mods make it a lot of fun. I have two mods today that I'm using, or a mod pack and a separate mod. Um, Settler. Careful shooter. Slowpoke is not very good though because the move speed is slower. Um, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find another. A reject too. Teetotaler! Avoids alcohol and drugs. So what's new in Alpha 9? Uh, one of the main things I guess is uh, alcohol. Yeah, booze. I'm not quite sure if that's a good thing but <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Agent. No. Medic? Yeah, the too smart trait is not very good because you get um, a higher or lower mental break threshold, I guess. Um, housemate, inventor, settler. Psychically sensitive, I do not want that because they will get um, affected by the psychic phenomena that, that happen once in a while. Um, this always takes a lot of... Uh, house... Oh, trigger happy and abrasive? No. Dwarf Fortress's uh, gen at the moment is insanely detailed. It generates world history with heroic beasts, giant monsters, their actions across the span of thousands of years. Wow. Bigger scope than this, then. Um, the most, like, the longest time I've gone is three years. And then I've pretty much done it. And, like, I, I had done everything by then, so. At least I researched everything. That's basically what I called done. Because you can build a spaceship, but not much. To it like after you build a spaceship there's not not much else you can do with it just go and start over i guess sanguine that's good slowpoke not bad like not very good but not very bad um and also something new is the chronological age and a biological age so they have all been in crypto sleep caskets for a long time so the chron the biological age of this person is 18 but the chronological age is 18. That's pretty cool. Um, this one's good at shooting. We don't really like. We need uh, construction and mining. Cold lover. Uh, that's very bad in a hot climate. 
chemical fascination. It will consume much more of them. No, they could basically a drug. Is Walt really necessary? I remember that there was a delay. I, I'm not quite sure how long the delay is today. But um, try and be specific because I, like, especially today, forget what I was talking about 30 seconds earlier. I have a bit of a foggy brain today. I uh, got up quite early this morning. Scientist? Uh, we don't need a scientist at the start. Man, we just need some good... Ah! Psychically dull, that's good. Iron-willed, that's very good. He's 46. He's good at mining, growing, and constructing. Uh, he's incapable of nothing, so he can do like everything. So we definitely want him. So uh, what we need again now is a cook, I think. I would like to get... Um, oh, there's no sound effects. Uh, cook level 6 or higher. That's what I'll be looking for. Um, because then they can cook fine meals. So cooking should be 6 or higher. Oh, this is very good. This is very good. Uh, this person, incapable of scary, will not be able to put out fires, but she's an optimist. She is psychically deaf, so like, whenever a psychic event happens, she's not affected by it at all. And she's tolerant um, to heat, so she handles warm temperatures better, and that's good because we have some warm temperatures. So we have our chef now. Terry Santharia Sentinel is our chef. Then we have. T-Bone, who's our constructor, miner guy. Um, let's see, so fighting should be could be something that we look for now. Trigger happy and lazy? Oh. This person is cold tolerant. would rather have someone heat tolerant, but... <laughs> a VR addict and a rugby player in adulthood. That's cool. Um... Incapable of social and cleaning? Mm -hmm. Not a huge fan. Especially the social one. It's always nice to have a social chat. Um, brings up the mood. Um, pessimist, slowpoke? No. Heat tolerant? Incapable of a lot there, so let's not do that. An inventor. Depressive, psychically dull. Permanent mood? Ooh, minus 12. That's quite bad. Abrasive? No. Chemical interest? Let's not do anything with the chemicals. I.e. alcohol. Um, very good at shooting. Incapable of intellectual and artistic. But industrious. Very good at shooting. Um, can learn some medicine. Good at crafting. Yeah, I think we'll have uh, this Justin. A starship janitor. I think we'll have him to do our shooting, so hunting, he can, he can go hunting as well, and crafting. I think we have our group. A 46 year old male, 44 year old female, and a 50 year old male. Enough life experience there. Hey Fochio, it comes out on the 10th of March and I'll be doing a release day stream. Hey Elliot, how you doing? Let's start this game. And pause. There we are. By the way, Fojo, if you want to know more about City Skylines, um, there's a, a subreddit with a lot of information and also uh, official forums at uh, Paradox Plaza website. Um, so go have a, have a Google if you're interested. Let's see. What I'm looking for is an area that we can easily defend. Um, and I would like to like burrow into the oh my follow nice burrow into the um, uh, mountain there. So I think I'll be looking at um, creating an entrance here, um, making a kill room here probably, and then walling this off after I've hauled everything in. Um, or I can make this a giant kill room and wall this bit off. Is 
Let's think about this. And let's look at uh, where we have some resources. If we have some resources. Okay, cool. This is steel. That's very good. What's this? Is that new? Hmm. The sound effects are definitely new. I'm not sure if they're in a mod I'm using or in the uh, base base game. Vanilla game. Uh, more steel, more steel, some silver. Oh, will there be gold anywhere? Any gold? More steel. It looks like we have enough steel for a little while. That's good. We have some muffalo. More steel, probably. Uh, yes. No plasteel, as far as I can tell. Uh, not yet, anyway. Or is this? No, that's steel. Uh, that's nothing. Oh, that should be enough. Uh, let me, um... Oh. It looks, it looks a bit nicer. Not as flat, and I like how it has sounds now. That's very good. I do appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna claim some of these structures. Sometimes when you get raiders, they get confused by seeing, like, part walls and stuff. And then they assume that's your base, and they, like, walk across the map away from your base to attack a random wall that you've claimed. Which is quite nice. A good sort of distraction tactic. So I usually just like claim all the walls I can find at the start of the game. Uh, we may have to mine this all out. Um, I am gonna start here. That is very nice, isn't it? That's new as well. So remember, this is the first time I'm playing Alpha 9. Um, okay, planning. So we should have like a battery room here. Uh, that's gonna be sort of like here. Ish is gonna be our battery room. Because uh, we have our um, vent there. Uh, and until we've researched that, we can just use some solar power. Um, so we can expand this uh, we need to. Uh, I'm going to have a walk-in freezer here. The reason why I'm putting these close to, um, at least the freezer anyway, putting these close to where the um, outside world is, is that I need a cooler to put in there, temperature control. Okay, so that will be big enough for now. Um, then we'll have a... Um, this is all planning mode, by the way, guys. The dark red is actual mining orders, and this is just planning. Have you DC'd? I don't know. It's probably just very quiet. Um, what else? So we have... Uh, we need a kitchen at some point. That should be big enough for a kitchen. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to mine is a bedroom. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. Five by six. And that's the first thing I'm actually going to mine. And we'll put three beds in it to like make them happy. Um, it's quite a while to walk, but that's just how it is. Okay, so our best shot is... who was it again? Uh, shooting 11, so he's definitely gonna get the best pistol, like the... Oh, survival rifle, that's interesting. What's this like? Mm, accuracy. 37 range, that's not bad. And then T-Bone. How is he with shooting? He's a 4, so he'll get this, because I think Syntharia is only a 3 at shooting yet, so she'll get um, the knife. Cool. So that's our first uh, orders. Uh, we need some zones as well. Let's get a growing zone. Out here, and get another one there. This one will be for Zerigem. 
Um, I have a mod, teams mod, that adds some different plants. So we now have corn and rice um, as well, uh, which is nice. And we have lettuce and carrots and tomatoes. So we can make salads. Oh yeah. Um, but just for now we'll have zerygium. And I'm going to switch this to strawberries. Because eating raw potatoes is not as good as eating raw strawberries. How would you rob a bank these days? I have no idea. I've never actually thought of that. Um, I will have oops, a dumping stockpile. Probably right here. Is that smart? We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. I'll have a normal stockpile... That's probably not very smart. Um, I'll have a normal stockpile. I don't want to have it too far away from the entrance, but it shouldn't be blocking where they uh, where they walk, because obviously that um, will slow them down. Uh, let's have it here, just in the middle. So we have our normal stockpile. We have our dumping stockpile. Um, I'll ask them to mine just this bit, just because. Um, you should only grow delicious crops, none of that efficient food, just delicious food. Yeah, strawberries. But I do want Zerygium to make um, medicine. Okay, I'll need some um, turrets and stuff pretty soon, although I'm playing on casual. Um, what else do I need? I'll forbid this. Uh, and I need to set their priorities. So let's see, T-Bone the Settler. How good is he at mining? He's very good at mining. So that's the first thing he's gonna do. Um, I'm gonna set hauling to two because there's quite a lot of hauling at the start. Um, doctoring, that's Syntharia's job. Um, they're all gonna be patients if they need to, when they need to. Firefighting at uh, two. I think um, Zantharia is also going to be a warden, but like since we don't really have a need for doctors or wardens at the start, she's going to be our chef. Um, I would like her to do plant cutting if I want to assign that. Cleaning. There's no researching as of yet, so um, put this to tube, but she'll never do this because there will always be something to cook. Hey Silva! Snowing! Nice! Okay, um, Tebow will be doing the mining. Walsh will be doing hunting. If there's no hunting, he'll be doing constructing and repairing. Uh, this is all gonna be threes. Someone needs to do the growing as well. I'll have him do the growing as well. Not sure if that's the best idea. Um, this can be unforbidden. So we have quite a few boars there to kill. A lot, actually. Um, we have some more survival meals there. And we have some muffalo. They're quite far away, though. And since I don't have a kitchen yet, or a freezer, I'll leave the hunting for now. So I think it's time to press play and see what happens. Hold on, what's this? This is new. The beauty! This place, the beauty of the world, as would be perceived by a character standing where the mouse is pointing. <gasps> oh, bad, is it? That's pretty cool. Okay. You always look so pretty. Really, I thought she was looking quite shabby. Maybe you need some skin cream or something to step up your game. <laughs> My god, that's so mean. <laughs> Uh, at least you're making me laugh, though. And thank you, Silva. I'm really tired, so I'm glad you, you're you telling me I look pretty. Cutting a poplar tree. Um, that's alright, uh, but I do want you to haul. Do I have every everyone is at least capable of hauling, so I can ask them to haul stuff. Hauling and hauling. Good. I know I need to build a room. I know. That kappa was fairly late there, send of. But, thanks.
Okay, he's going to start growing stuff. Um, what are you doing? So the mining will not happen yet. Since there's no cooking yet, I'll have her do mining, even though she's not good at it. Um, she may get better though. Uh, so that's Cyntharia. 